Hey guys, in this video, what I want to do is speed comparison between the Galaxy S7 Edge versus the Galaxy S7, the normal variant we have. Uh, so basically, both phones have Exynos uh, 8890 chipset and 4 gigs of RAM, so uh, they are pretty much identical uh, internal specs wise, but uh, they have the difference when it comes to the display. So the S7 Edge has a 5.5 inch display, whereas the Galaxy S7. Uh, the normal variant has a 5.1 inch display and both phones have quad HD resolution so let's start off with the build, uh, with the boot up test here first of all in 3, 2, 1, go and you can see very similar type of logos you know and you can also notice that the Galaxy S7 Edge uh, doesn't look that much of a bigger phone you know because of its screen to body ratio and you can see here the S7 just a tiny bit faster compared to the S7 Edge so let's go ahead and do a quick apps opening test uh, of course like always uh, I am connected to the same Wi-Fi network and also I have closed up everything in the background uh, just to make sure you know that uh, nothing will stop them for bringing out the best out of the uh, out of themselves so uh, let's start off with the Instagram one of the most uh, one of my most used applications uh, in three two one go okay so it seems like the Galaxy S7 Edge refreshed it uh, just a tiny bit faster compared to the S7 uh, but both were really fast uh, almost equal in terms of opening of the app uh, let's open up the Facebook okay let's see here pretty much similar uh, and again, you can see the S7 loaded the feed, refreshed it, but the uh, but app app opening was very similar, no difference there. Um, next off is a Temple Run in three, two, one, go. Okay. So both phones have this uh, game launcher thing, you know. Uh, let's see here. And seems like both were pretty much identical, no difference there. Uh, let's go ahead and launch another uh, app which is called as Twitch. Here we go. And let's see here. Okay, seems like the Galaxy S7 Edge slightly faster, very close actually. Uh, very similar, of course, like I said, same internals means same similar performance. Um, however, we do have the uh, more pixels here because of bigger screen size on the S7 Edge. Uh, let's uh, launch the Play Store on uh, both phones. There we go. Let's see here. And the Galaxy S7 Edge loaded the Play Store just a tiny bit faster. Okay, so next off is Gunfu Do. Here we go. And you can see absolutely equal performance in terms of opening of games. Uh, again, uh, let's open up the last application we have is the YouTube. So one, two, three, go. And let's see here. I think both phones finished off equally. So uh, let's search the channel name Z Tech Care. Same thing here. Okay, let's search. Slightly faster search with those with the Galaxy S7. Let's play this video. Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge versus the Pretty damn equal, actually. I have this volume pretty low on the S7. And you can see the speaker is actually has a little bit of water droplets inside because of course I was doing some tests but both phone, uh, phones were pretty much equal so let me just blow off the water here so you can see a little bit look at that drop so okay there you go so let's open up camera on both phones uh, let's see here here we go you can see similar similar performance so no difference at all uh, major performance is similar um, when it comes to opening of games and apps. Uh, so let's take a look at the browsing performance on both phones. Okay, so I've cleared up all the history and data and I'm going to be using of course Google Chrome browser on both phones. Uh, here we have the first website called as WWE.com. Same thing here. And we're going to press this at the same time. See, which is going to be faster. Wow. If I'm not wrong, both are absolutely equal. Let's dig in a little bit deep in this article. And again, seems like 
pretty damn similar maybe the S7 is slightly faster or maybe I'm wrong because it's really hard to see uh, judge you know they're just so damn equal let's go back definitely faster on the S7 of course this might be because this one has to load the uh, pixels you know like I said 5.5 inch quad inch display but nonetheless the difference are really tiny not that much of a noticeable when you're using them in real life of course uh, let's open up the phonearena.com the tech website we have uh, let's see here one two three go it's gonna be faster and I think okay I did the Google research, uh, search on my S7 so I'm just gonna close these tabs on both phones well, let's just launch the Chrome again and launch any other website so uh, I think we're gonna open up gold.com uh, football website gold.com soccer news in three two one here we go it's gonna be faster and seems like the Galaxy S7 yes the S7 faster again slightly faster let's open up an article of course this is a heavy website so it takes some time to load um, Let's open up this one and again seems like the Galaxy S7 faster no doubt about that let's go back and that is actually faster on the S7 Edge uh, let's open up one last website it's going to be gsmarena.com let's go and you can see this is not that much of a heavy website so opened up pretty much equally so you can see LG 5 uh, lands in Canada on April 8 so yeah we are pretty close for the LG 5 you know uh, let's open up this article or I mean of course specs page pretty equal let's go back so definitely it's uh, it's pretty similar performance sometimes the S7 uh, the Galaxy S7 is faster you know compared to the uh, S7 Edge here and of course as far as the temperature goes both are looking very normal to me uh, and let's open up the multitasking menu and do a multitasking test so obviously start off with Instagram and you can see opened up nicely on both phones same notification count at the same time no problem whatsoever uh, let's see here Facebook Wow no problem whatsoever no refresh temple run perfect okay let's go back twitch okay so here you go the first refresh of the day uh, play store no problem whatsoever gun food do we really damn good so one thing is for sure that they, they have fixed the RAM management issue on the new Galaxy series that is for sure and here you can see the YouTube app no problem whatsoever uh, it is where we left it and then we have the uh, browser that we just opened no problem so you can see definitely they have improved the performance a lot they have improved the RAM management issue and uh, and uh, and you know sometimes if you're if you're following me following this channel I did I've done the speed test comparison of the S7 Edge with my uh, other phones and I, I have to use some some applications like GTA San Andreas in these games so uh, these games actually take up a lot of RAM so you might notice a little bit more closing um, uh, if you open up these heavy games uh, games like GTA San Andreas and GTA Liberty City so in this test I decided to not open them to just to show you guys the difference and if you of course most of people don't really play these games heavy games so as far as just normal application goes they both are pretty damn awesome just one refresh with the Twitch app so let's go ahead and do a fingerprint sensor speed test on both phones. Okay, so let's do this test here very quickly. So I'm going to place the finger at the same time on both phones. Home, uh, home button here. Here we go. Okay. Seems like the Galaxy S7 faster. Let's do it again. Hmm. So I'm not going to lift my finger this time or my thumb definitely feels slightly faster on the Galaxy S7 yeah no doubt about that let's do it again again and again more close up so that you can see I'm doing it at the same time 3, 2, 1 
Okay, let's do it one more time. Yeah, definitely just a tiny bit faster on the Galaxy S7. So, uh, yeah, S7 does have a slightly um, edge over the Galaxy S7 edge, no point intended. But, yeah, that's the truth here. Uh, so, uh, and it is definitely not that much of a noticeable, to be honest, in terms of real-life performance. They both are pretty damn fast. Uh, without a doubt so uh, yeah uh, I'm gonna be making a full comparison video where we'll talk about like different stuff like form factor uh, comparing uh, showing you the picture quality of both phones and all that maybe a 4k video so yeah a full comparison coming soon and I'll, I'll see you guys in my next video please subscribe if you enjoyed and peace out